I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Wednesday, July 27th. Did you know that this is a very appropriate day? It's National New Jersey Day, and if you're a collector, you might be aware that the National starts today in Atlantic City, New Jersey, so there's that. But you don't need to leave home to get all the scores and highlights from Tuesday's action, which you can find in a showcase on the right side of your screen. Now let's get on to history. And on this day in 1998, Tony Womack sets a new record by not grounding into a double play in his 888th consecutive at bat to eclipse the mark of Dodgers outfielder Pete Reiser, which was set in 1946. Unfortunately, it doesn't help Womack's Pirates, as they are, appropriately enough, doubled up 12 to 6 in Colorado. Also on this day in 2005, Ryan Friel becomes the first player in Cincinnati history, the 136-year history of the Reds, to steal five bases in a game. He swipes second and third in the ninth inning, then scores on a sacrifice fly by Felipe Lopez to help the Reds earn a 7-6 win over the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine. Birthdays on this day. We'll start with A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, who turns 47 today. The three-time MVP had 3,115 hits, hit 696 homers, in a 22-year career with Seattle, Texas, and New York. Max Scherzer was born on this day in 1984. Happy 38th birthday to the three-time All-Star, I should say three-time Cy Young Award winner, eight-time All-Star, and a guy with 196 wins to just 99 losses on a 3.13 ERA in his career. With the Mets this year, his first season in New York, 6-2 with a 2.28 ERA. And Drew Rasmussen turns 27 today. He's 6-3 with a 3.13 ERA and 16 starts this year for the Tampa Bay Rays. July is 2011 Tops Month, and today we're going to go with the Freak. I'm not talking about Giannis Antetokounmpo, I'm talking about Tim Lincecum. Lincecum went 110-89 and in his career with a 3.74 ERA, while winning two Cy Young Awards, making four All-Star teams, and winning three World Series rings. Unfortunately, 2011 was kind of the beginning of the end, as it was his last All-Star season, when he went 13-14 and with a 2.74 ERA for the Giants, and it got, I guess we can call it a little bit ugly after that. But he was still dominant in the first half of his career. Well, that's all I got. I'm off to New Jersey, or am I? I guess we'll have to find out. I'm Bronco, sports out.